everybody, welcome back to another Saga campaign playthrough. I'm Dave Walsh, host of Card Talk, and in this episode, we are taking on Journey to the Crossroads. Now, I did know at the very beginning of doing this that Journey to the Crossroads was going to be tough in a lot of ways, probably, but I am bound determined to make it through this using this Hobbit deck, and I have actually won this game once, uh, but I missed a trigger on an oliphant and it probably wouldn't have affected everything anything but just to be safe i wanted to make sure that i played it correctly so uh, before we get started uh, let's take a look at the campaign log and the deck and then we will set up the scenario you'll see in the campaign log that this scenario has almost exactly the same stuff as the previous scenario the only difference is i have to start with uh, an extra two threat. Um, but starting with five heroes with only 27 threat is probably pretty good. I have the same boons and burdens that were present the last one. And let's keep in mind that this is a Frodo quest. So Frodo will be our fellowship hero. And he has a certain set of burdens associated with him. Aragorn's out for now. Okay, so let's take a look at the deck. Okay, so in terms of the deck, we have my Bond of Saga Ship Hobbit deck. And I think the winner of this scenario is going to be Gaffer Gamgee. Yeah, I'm going to need to be able to defend. I'm going to have to be able to attack. But I feel like Gaffer Gamgee is the thing to get out so that uh, you can mitigate a couple of attacks early on. The furthest I've gotten and the best things that have happened when I've played this scenario in the lead up to this is um, I've gotten Gaffer Gamgee out and then I've been able to play Gaffer at least once every two rounds, sometimes once every round if I had out the Red Book of Westmarch. Yes, of course, I'm going to have to be able to take a defense from the Oliphant, but I can do that with a Hobbit Cloak or I can do things like that. So it's better to cancel the attack than have to take the, take the attack. So let's get started and set up the scenario. Here we go. I have all the boons and burdens over here. Uh, and let's look at the campaign card. It says each player must choose to either add one resource to each of his hero's pools or shuffle one copy of Brace of Conies into his deck. So Brace of Conies is great if you get that card. If you don't get that card, obviously it doesn't really help you out. So I have gotten the farthest in this scenario by taking the extra resource now. Um, and then I think about it like, so the next six scenarios that are left or seven scenarios, whatever it is, I just won't, wouldn't have drawn Brace of Conies. It's kind of like it was in my deck, but not draw. So I'm getting the effect that the campaign is giving me right now. I'd rather take it now than uh, than possibly not get it in the future scenario. And like I've always said, if the, if the game is giving you something free, then you know that this is going to be a tough scenario. So let's continue with the campaign setup. It says remove the burdens. So those uh, burden set icons are from the Aragorn quests. And so now let's do some attaching. So this is old bogey stories. This goes on Sam. Tireless Ranger. He's one of them rangers. That goes on Sam. Forewarned also goes on Sam. The One Ring. <gasps> is it secret? Is it safe? That goes on Frodo. Gandalf's delay. Oh, I am sorry, Frodo. I was delayed. That goes in the staging area. We put it to the left of the staging area because it doesn't really interact with anything. It just keeps me from being able to draw six cards in the opening hand uh, to go down to five. And same with wait, uh, Overcome by Grief. Overcome by Grief doesn't interact in the staging area. Just if I lose a character by it getting destroyed, then Overcome by Grief comes into play. So Sting and Mithril Shirt go, uh, go into my deck. And so now Weight of the Ring and Pursued by the Enemy, they will go into the encounter deck. So now the, set up the scenario. It says add the black gate and crossroads to the staging area. So the black gate gets all the men of Harad face down underneath it. So that's this um, set of cards here. I'm going to take and shuffle this deck. It should go under the crossroads, but I'm just going to 
leave them in here to keep my staging area clear. Everybody but the first player goes and gets a non-unique location. So this is the trigger here. So let me turn this over. So let me do this in order here. So this has all of the men of Harad underneath it. And I can't beat it unless the crossroads is explored. I can't beat the scenario unless the crossroads is explored. And so I need to, and then I need to get all the cards out from underneath it. There's nine cards, so it's going to take me around nine turns to get all the cards out from underneath there. That's not a big deal until you come over here and you say, at the beginning of the quest phase, reveal the top face down. So every quest phase, I'm going to get an enemy at least one into the staging area. Now, none of the men of Harad have Surge, but in the encounter deck, Caleb was great and created Surge enemies. And so it's possible that you get three or four enemies. Actually, in one of my more recent playthroughs off camera, I played this and I ended up having the one from under the black gate and then two enemies that surged plus something else that made everything attack. So that was an immediate loss. Um, so this has been a very challenging scenario. And the reason why you have to engage everything is because of the black gate and you have to fight them is because if they are in the staging area at the end of the planning phase, then they end up going under the black gate. And that's bad news. Spoiler alert, um, anything that's face down under the black gate is going to come back in a future scenario and haunt us. Hopefully I can kill the Oliphant and do some things there. Let's set this up. There's nothing crazy that's going to happen. Okay, so I do have here I set up everything and don't forget that I get a plus two threat to start the scenario. Let's begin. Okay, Shirefolk. So I will play Shirefolk and lower my threat by four. Rosie Cotton. Rosie Cotton. She had ribbons in her hair. If ever I was to marry someone, it would have been her. I'm going to put Thorngill over here onto Mary. I guess in order to do that, I will spend my tactics resources. And then I'm going to, for now, leave the Warden of Healing in my hand because I'm going to want to leave a resource for Falco uh, to play Peace and Thought. I have determined that drawing cards is what I want to be doing here, um, making sure that I have as many cards in my hand in my arsenal as possible. Let's see, I didn't pay as much as I needed to here, so I will put, I'll use one there. Okay, so I'm gonna go get Tactics Mary. I've determined that leaving Gandalf in my hand is probably a pretty good good move because when Gandalf comes out, I can do four damage to something in case I get bogged down in the staging area. I don't have to put anything under the black gate until after planning. So it's possible for me to play Gandalf during planning and evaporate an enemy and then not have to worry about it in case I don't want to engage it. So let's start questing. Okay, so the neat thing about this scenario is that when I put the topmost face down card in play, um, it's at the beginning of the quest phase, so I can do this. Mr. Frodo, look. It's an olifant. No one at home will believe this. And because it's the, at the beginning of the quest phase, I can now commit... Bilbo to the quest and I can cancel this threat out. So it's one thing that helps me out here is Bilbo ends up being a star and helps me deal with having the Oliphant. I will use uh, tokens this time around and put the threat here on the on the crossroad. Questing, I'll quest for two. So I'm questing for eight and right now in the staging area is just one. Either place the lowest fraud enemy engaged with you face down under the black gate or reveal the topmost face down under and put it into play engaged with you. So I don't have enemies, any, any enemies engaged with me. So I would have to reveal the top most face down card under the crossroads. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to cancel that with the ring. <laughs> So now let's see what this is. 
and I get the foothills of the Ethelduath. Okay, this is actually great timing for this. So let me resolve the quest. Because I quested successfully, I'll put a damage onto the Oliphant. And you know what? I just think that right now it's too early for me to be able to engage the Oliphant. I just can't do anything with it. So post, um, post staging, I'm going to add another two to the, to this by putting it onto Sam or something. Okay. Using Rosie Cot. And I'm not going to travel to the foothills of the Ethel Duath because I just can't defend the Oliphant. If I had Gandalf in play, maybe I could, but I can't do anything with it now. I'm already starting off by putting an Oliphant under the Black Gate, but so be it. It's what I need to do right now. I'm going to hit Control R, because I'm going to refresh, and then I'm going to play Peace and Thought. I will exhaust Falco and Frodo. That is a good five cards to see. New round. First thing first, I'll put a fast hitch on Sam. And I think I'm going to put an unexpected courage onto Mary. Mary with Thorngill is really nice to have. And then I think I'm going to get out Treebeard. Treebeard, some call me. So that's four. So one, two, three, four. I think that that's how it's going to play out. I would love to get out my Warden of Healing and the Red Book of Westmarch. Next round, I may be able to play Gandalf. Okay, so that's the end of planning. Unfortunately, this goes under the Black Gate. Card of the Men of Harad deck, and this is actually probably the best one to get. So he does a lot of damage. <laughs> He's archery, and then when he engages you, you got to do stuff. But um, again, I'm okay with that. So right now, I have five in the staging area, and I will quest with one. I think I'll quest for six, and that makes me feel okay. If I lose this time around. I'm okay with that. Okay, so six says when it puts either the lowest threat in the staging area face down under the black gate or reveal an additional encounter card or each enemy in the staging area makes an immediate attack. Okay, so the treacheries in here are nuts because it's like we're trying to sneak up on the people in the black gate, but it's like we got caught. So I'm just going to throw this back using the ring. Come in. And let's see what we get here. The Hills of Athelion. So this is good. There's actually seven here. I will I will actually use Rosie to boost Sam so that I'm questing for eight. And now I'm going to travel to the foothills of the Ethelduath. And by doing that, I have to engage this guy. Okay, by engaging him, that Sam gets to ready. But now I need to do a point of damage to somebody. So I'll do it to Treebeard. So I will deal this guy a shadow card. I will defend with Sam, and I will get rid of the actual shadow. And then I will attack back with Mary. Mary's attacking for six. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen Thorngill, or Thorongil. And so he gets plus one for every hobbit there is, and six is just enough to kill this guy. The enemy. 
His sense of duty was no less than yours, I deem. You wonder what his name is? Where he came from? If he was really evil at heart. This guy also had archery one, so I guess I should have um, done a damage. Um, I'll do a damage to Sam. Okay, mithril shirt. I'm going to take the mithril shirt and I'll put that into play. Next round, I'll be able to put the Warden of Healing into play, so that way I can heal up some folks. Hopefully, I can quest through and pretty soon have out the Red Book of Westmarch. I'm cautiously optimistic right now. So planning is over, so I'm going to go to the Men of Harad deck. So this is one of those cases where maybe having Gandalf will help because I, I don't have to engage him and I don't have to deal with an immediate attack. Nonetheless, let's see, this is another three in the staging area. Three plus two is five. And I will quest for two. I think I'm going to quest for eight and just hope crazy things don't happen. And I get this crazy thing. Who are they? Wicked men, servants of Sauron. They are called to murder. The Dark One is gathering all armies to him. It won't be long now. He will soon be ready. So this is the good... So now I can take a card that's under the crossroads. Like I could get an extra... Like I could get there sooner. <laughs> Right? Like I can um, I can get another card that's out from under the crossroads because I can get Gandalf out. I can put the damage that Gandalf is going to dish out right on this soldier. So I don't have to worry about him going under. But then I can um, then attack and take care of that. So you know what? I think that that's not a horrible option right now. Okay, so let's see what I get. I get the Haradrim Archer. So... That means that Sam readies, so I have to dis assign X damage. I'm spreading around the damage because I don't want to have to have too much healing for the Warden, but I will put the one damage that this guy's going to put on me onto Tree, uh, onto tree Beard. So that guy goes into play and engage with me, but this in, in turn increases the threat here. So it's 8 versus 6, so sure. I'll put 2 progress on the Ethel Dueth. Oh, each Harad enemy gets minus one. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I did quest successfully, so I will put a damage onto the Haradrim soldier. And I'm going to leave him right in the staging area because I think Gandalf is going to come out and help me out this turn. And I think post quest stage, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to use Rosie to boost and do two more here. I think that that's going to help me out. So now we can do some combat. So I'll deal this guy Shadow Karn. I will defend with Sam. I'm going to have to put one damage somewhere else. I'll put one damage from the archery onto Mary. And this guy is going to attack. And I'm going to get rid of that Shadow card. Sam does not take any damage. And now I have to do six. So I will attack with Mary. And I will kill this enemy. Wouldn't it be awesome if I could get a sneak attack, right? This particular second <laughs> okay if not then that's fine but uh let's see let me uh end the round i can put the warden of healing into play for two so i'm going to have to bring out gandalf so i'll put gandalf into play a wizard is never late frodo baggins nor is he early he arrives precisely when he means to and I'll do four damage to this Haradrim soldier, never having to worry about engaging it. I guess I'm ready for questing. So right now, there's six in the staging area, but I'm going to go get a card here. Let's see. So there's an Oliphant. Mr. Frodo, look. It's an Oliphant. Now, the thing about the Oliphant is that as soon as I engage it, I'm going to have to exhaust all my allies. So that means that um, I might as well use the Warden of Healing to heal right now, which is good. And then I should quest with everybody here 
So I will quest for two. So I'm questing for 16. And right now in the staging area is seven. So questing 16 versus seven. And I get the Man of Harad, which doesn't increase threat, but having to discard a random card from my hand is a pain in the neck. And it surges. So, okay, so what do we get next? The Ithilian Wood. Let's settle up the quest. That's zero and two, so that's nine. So I do a damage here to the Oliphant. And I have to put seven progress. So one, two. And so now here's the other big issue is that I have two enemies now in the staging area. Okay. Those two enemies, I can't engage both of them. My threat is low enough that I, I'm stuck. Okay. So I'm going to have to engage the, uh, I'm sorry, let me make sure I travel here. So I will travel to the foothills of the Athelion because mm, that one doesn't have a travel effect. And I'm going to put the Oliphant in play engage. Now, if I do draw another Gandalf, I can deal with that guy. I'll put the archery on Gandalf. He's a good pincushion as well. Because I engaged, this happens. And then also, I deal one damage to this guy because of the Hills of Athelion. I get to spend two to ready Treebeard. Deal this guy a Shadow Karn. And hope that I don't get plus one. No Shadow. So Treebeard takes three damage. Defending for three, took three damage from the Oliphant. Now I get to attack back. I will attack with Mary, and I will do my maximum number, and I do three damage there. I think that's about the best I can do. So I will ready and start a new round. I will put the Red Book of Westmarch onto Falco. I will heal Treebeard and Mary, and I'm grumpy that I put a man of Harad. It's going to come back to haunt me that it's a surge, but it is what it is. Okay, so now we will get another one of these, put this up in the staging area. Oh good. <laughs> I say oh good, but that means there's one Oliphant and two of those men of Harad left. Let's quest. Again, Bilbo gets to target this guy, so I'll quest here for two. I'll quest for 12 right now. And in the staging area is 8. I'll quest for 15. So let's reveal. Let's see what we get. We get another Hills of Athelion for 2. Locations are fine by me. So that's 4. So that exp or that's 5. I did 5 extra. So that's this explored. Plus I put 1 progress here. Um, I was successful. So this guy takes a damage. And I was successful. So I get another resource onto... Falco, and now I can travel to the newly revealed Hills of Athelion. Now I will engage this guy because I engaged him, Sam Reddy's, and because I engaged him, I get to do another damage to him. So this is good news. Okay, so who's going to take a damage? Let's give it to Mary. Defenses. I think I'm going to defend the Oliphant with Sam for five. He's defending for five, and I'm going to get rid of the shadow effect. So Sam takes a damage. Then I'm going to defend Archer with Sam, who's again defending for five. Plus one, so this is four versus five. Sam doesn't take any damage. 
and now I can attack the Oliphant with Mary for and do three damage to it, and I will attack the Archer with Treebeard and do three damage to it, killing it. So let's do a new round. Okay, Peace and Thought's going to come out n next time, no matter what. That's a good place for Peace and Thought. Okay, so now what's more important, Odo Proudfoot or Unexpected Courage? If I was going to do Unexpected Courage, I would put it on Frodo, maybe to give myself an extra defender, or put it onto Sam to give me an extra defense or defender. So I think I will... I guess I'll put it onto Sam because he make, it makes more sense. So now I'm hoping that I have the Haradrim Elite here on top, or that Man of Harad or whatever it is, the, on top of the that deck. Okay, so <laughs> I will use the Warden to heal Treebeard and Sam. Treebeard can almost handle one more attack from an Oliphant. Let's enter the quest phase. So here we go. So it's an Oliphant. Mr. Frodo! Look! It's an Oliphant. No one at home will believe this. Actually, I kind of think that that's not horrible right now. Okay, so now I need to quest. Okay, so I definitely will send Bilbo. So I'll quest for 14, because that's just what I want to do. Okay, and questing for 14, 9 in the staging area. And I get another Hills of the Ethel Duath. Okay, so that's 3. That's 12 versus 14. But I will use Rosie. Rosie, that's an extra 3. <laughs> because Rosie has this here. So that's 17 versus 12. There's four here, so that's, again, another progress here. So that's good, and I think we want to travel to the Hills of the Ethel Duath just to get that out of the staging area, and the Oliphant is going to come in and engage me. And I think Sam is going to hopefully show his quality here, so let's see. So I will deal shadow cards, and I will... I will get rid of the first shadow card here. And Sam's defending for three, but I'm going to put on Halfling Determination here. So Halfling Determination, I get plus two defense, plus two willpower until the end of the phase. So he's defending for five now, which is pretty decent. But he still takes a damage from an Oliphant. And now the second Oliphant, I will defend and pray there's no shadow effect. No shadow effect and Sam takes one more damage. So I've dealt with attacks from the enemies, so now I have to attack back. So I'm going to attack with Mary. I'm going to kill this Oliphant. And then I can ready and attack with Mary and attack this Oliphant for its three. And I think I'm doing pretty good here. Okay, so I'm going to do Control R. I'm going to play Peace and Thought. I will exhaust Mary and exhaust Sam, and I will draw five cards. So now a new round. I'm going to put the Hobbit Cloak onto Mary, which is a great place. It's a shame I didn't get it earlier. But I will put um, Build a Pony out. I will put Gaffer Gamgee out for two. And I will draw five cards using Frodo's Intuition. And get an extra willpower from each of my heroes. I think I'm going to put a uh, Fast Hitch onto Rosie. That's the best place for a Fast Hitch. And I do have a Test of Will in hand. So hopefully I've played this right and I can do some good stuff. Questing for an extra plus one with everything. So let's see here. So this is going to be four. Oh, quest phase. I have to go and do this. This is going to be one of those Haradrim Spearmen or whatever. Soldier. Okay. So 
I will again I can use Bilbo to to um, to target it so that's gonna be three so the only thing that's really gonna get me is if I get an enemy because then I can't engage two of them at the same time but I'm at eight threat eight and two is ten so hopefully I don't get an enemy and if I do I can I can throw it back into the encounter deck using Frodo so is this worth canceling each Harad enemy gains two archery until the end of the round. Let's see, can I handle four archery? I can probably handle four archery. Let's keep that. I'll put this over here again. So that's still 18 versus 10. That's plus eight. So I will use Rosie, and Rosie is an extra plus three. So that's 21 I'm questing for. So the six here, and then five here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not going to travel to the Athelian Wood. I did quest successfully, so I'll put a damage onto the Herodrum Soldier, and I will exhaust the Red Book to put a resource onto Falco. So I don't have an active location, which I'm okay with right now, and I will engage this guy by engaging him, Sam... It's a bunch. He's going to make an immediate attack. So he's attacking for four, and Sam is defending for two, four, five. So I'll get rid of. I'll. Uh, I'll just. Sam is attacking for five or defending for five. He's attacking for four. So no shadow. It's great to see the Southward Road as a shadow card. So no damage. Um, and we'll ready Sam. Okay. So now these guys come back now it's combat so i'm going to actually exhaust the warden and i'm going to heal treebeard and sam and i'm going to pull the gaffer back into my hand and i'm going to prevent the oliphant attack and now sam will defend a second time against the soldier but now i'm going to get rid of the shadow card no damage no nothing to worry about so now i'll do four five and that does enough to <laughs> build a pony is going to kick the Oliphant. Okay, so the Oliphant takes his three damage. And then I'm going to attack with Mary for six and kill this soldier. Oh, I had to deal my four archery damage. I forgot to do four archery damage. So I'll do uh, one, two, three, four. I'll do four archery damage like that. End of round, I will clean up my play area and ready everybody. I will use the Warden to heal damage off a of Treebeard and damage off of Falco. I will play Gaffer. I will take Odo Proudfoot and bring Odo Proudfoot into play. Oh, no, I won't. I want to be able to keep one for my test of will. But I will put a dagger of westerness onto mary so i have lots of things that i can do in my hand um, i can cancel i can get rid of shadow effects okay let's see what we got i don't know if there's a card that allows me to pull cards back under from the back black gate that would be fun okay but it's fine Okay, so I need to quest successfully. So this is going to be one of those Haradrim soldiers. And now we're at nine for here. And I just need to make one more progress on the on this in order to travel here in order to be able to do stuff. Okay, questing. So again, I'll quest with Bilbo. Okay, so I'm questing for 14 and there's 11 in the staging area. Okay, so let's see what we get. We get the Captain of Harad. Normally, that's really scary, but for now, I'm okay with that. I will exhaust Mary to lower my threat by four. It's a very specific thing that I wanted to do there. Okay, so that raises threat in the staging area by four, but I'll exhaust Rosie. So I'm at 17 versus 15 so i make two progress on the current quest which is great okay so now let's do damage exhaust and get a resource and now i will travel to the crossroads which is something that i have been wanting to do now the problem that i have oh you know what okay i'm gonna have to undo all this stuff
The only thing that I'm going to undo is not use Mary's ability here. I think that that makes the most amount of sense. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing that for a reason because I'm going to engage the captain so that then then I can engage the soldier. It's the it's the best thing that I can do. I'll travel to the crossroads and I will optionally engage the cap the captain. And so that means all my Harad enemies get plus one attack and minus ten engagement cost. So that means that this guy is going to engage me. Um, I have to do something with this guy. This guy's attacking for five. So I guess Treebeard will deal with this guy. Discard a non-objective attachment I control. Okay, well, that's wonderful. I will discard old bogey story. So that guy made an attack. He's attacking for five. Treebeard's attacking, defending for three. So that does one that does that. I will now deal with combat phase. So look, Gaffer Gamgee is going to come back into my hand. So even if this guy has minus 10 engagement cost, I still get to cancel the Oliphant attack. So that's good. Okay. And I will ready Sam. Uh, by readying Sam, I will add Rosie Cotton's two defense to Sam. Sam's defending for five now. Okay, so five versus five. Let's see, no shadow, so that's good. And then I will again defend with Sam and get rid of this shadow. I didn't, oh, there's no shadow, but I will still get rid of it. And this guy doesn't do any damage either. Okay, so now I have to figure out how I'm going to kill all these guys. Okay, so a lot of these trigger having higher engagement cost than me so um, right now this engagement cost is adjusted to minus 10 until the end of round so i don't think that i can do anything totally crazy but i'm okay with that so let's see um, i will definitely um, attack the oliphant with mary and kill the oliphant <laughs> I will ready Mary. If Mary's attacking for seven, because this is only plus one, so what I will do is I will do seven and one is eight and kill the captain. And then I will ready Treebeard. Treebeard will attack and do one damage to the Haradrim soldier. Okay, new round. I will heal Treebeard and Sam, and then I will spend two resources to put Gaffer into play, and then I will spend another two resources, look at this, to trigger the action to ready the Warden of Healing, and I will pay another two to ready, or to heal Mary, and to heal Treebeard for another one. That's good. And I I think I'm going to play Odo Proudfoot. And I will look at the top five to find a hobbit. Okay, I will put Pippin into play for two. And now I think we're looking pretty good to get through the crossroads. Okay, so I will quest. Right now there's only two threat in the staging area. So I will quest for three. I will quest for 16, plus I can use Rosie to boost if I need to. 16 against 2, and then Rosie's still back. So what do we get? We get another Captain of Harad. I will exhaust Mary this time around and lower my threat by 4. I don't have to worry about that. Let's see. I'm doing 6, so that's going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine progress. I make it through the crossroads and uh, I make it through. Whew. I think that took me 10 tries to get through this, but that's cool. Man, I didn't get gaffer until late. <laughs>
Okay, well, let's do some points here. Control C. Uh, let's see, it looks like 98. Okay, so 98, and we'll flip the quest card. It says each player chooses Brace Coney's, earn that, record the name and quantity of each enemy underneath the black gate in the notes section of the campaign log. Okay, so I have a lot to enter here. Okay, so flip, and flip. So there's the Man of Harad and the Oliphant. I have two of those. I get it. something with Surge and something that's impossible to kill. It's a bummer, but that's what I got. Okay, and I ended up with 98 points and um, no Brace of Conies. Let's take a look at the campaign log and fill that out. Today's date is 9-9, nine, nine, and I ended up with a score of 98. And um, I'm going to put here in the burdens that I've earned is Man of Harad and Oliphant, and each of them is one. I never earned Brace of Conies. I don't have to worry about that. And I think... We are looking pretty good to be moving on to Shelob's Lair. I can't wait uh, to <laughs> give that a shot. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining us, and join us again next time as I continue my campaign. Have a great day.